I have 10 fragrances. I've narrowed it down to what I believe are the best of all time. This is not sponsored by the way, and I bought these all with my own money. The first fragrance I have in this bag is BDK Rouge Smoking. Now the reason this made it on my list is because it is unlike any fragrance that I have smelled out there. To me, this smells like a cherry Coke, but in the most luxurious way. And I put this in my top 10, like I said, because I don't know of anything out there that smells quite like this. The notes in this one are black vanilla, cherry, there's a little bit of orange blossom. I think there's some bergamot in there. When you first spray it, it has cherry, but not in a sticking way. Usually I hate cherry fragrances, but this one I actually love. It's like cherry, vanilla mixed. It's slightly sweet, has just a hint of spice in there. It's very smooth. It's well blended. Whoever made this fragrance, I haven't looked to see who the perfume nose is for this one, but they did an amazing job because it's so well blended. So at the center, it's like this sweet, creamy vanilla cherry with a hint of spice around and just the slightest touch of orange blossoms. It has a slight floral touch to it, but not very much. If you like very feminine, soft, sweet, creamy fragrances, you will love this one. Like I said, it's like cherry Coke in a bottle. It's so gorgeous, you guys. This is probably my favorite perfume of all time. If I had to pick one that would go with me to the grave, it would be this one. The next we have in my top 10 is by the House of Beau Lamar. You guys have heard me talk about this one so often. It is my favorite for summer. I put this in my top list because it is a floral aquatic and it's really hard to do aquatics really well without them smelling very fake or smelling like the ocean or salt water. This is so luxurious, sophisticated, it's fresh, it's feminine with a little bit of floral in there, but it's not overly feminine, so men could wear this as well. I consider it unisex. It is so well blended, you all. So when I first spray this, I get a hint of tuberose and jasmine, so it has some florals in there, but then it has the seawater, a little bit of gardenia, and then it has the coconut and the almond milk, which is going to make it a little bit creamy. So for me, this is something that reminds me of I'm going on a fancy like a yacht. I'm on the ocean. It's in the summer. I have a beautiful cocktail in my hand. I'm going to the Hamptons. It's very luxurious, but summer and tropical without it smelling fake at all. It's really hard to make aquatic fragrances really well. And I feel like House of Beau did amazing on it, but it's well blended with the florals, the aquatic, and a little bit of the creaminess from the coconut and the almond milk. It is such a gorgeous one. This will always be in my collection. The next one in my bag I have is YSL Libre Intense. Get the intense, don't get the regular. I keep telling you all, you gotta get the intense one. This is on my list because it is a designer fragrance that feels very high end. This is unlike any other designer perfume that I feel like is on the market because it has a hint of lavender in there, but it's very subtle because I don't usually like lavender fragrances. But in this, it's so subtle and it gives this unique kind of scent to it. I think it's a fougere is what it's called. I was checking to make sure and yes, it is an amber fougere. So this one has lavender, orange, orange, orange blossom, orchid, jasmine, vanilla, tonka bean. When you first spray it, you are going to get a bit of that lavender, but then it settles right down and it's creamy, it's sexy, it's spicy. This is a fragrance that I love to wear on date nights because it is strong, it is powerful. You only need one or two sprays. It definitely has longevity. It will last you hours, but it also has really strong projection. So I wouldn't wear this during the day at work, but for nighttime on the weekends when I'm going out having fun, this is the one I reach for. Yeah, when it dries down, it's very smooth, creamy, little spicy. It has that hint of lavender just for a twist, so it gives it a unique scent profile. It has the tonka bean to kind of round it out. It's very well blended. It's unique, but yet it's a designer scent. And then the packaging as well, I think they did an incredible job with the logo on the outside. I think a lot of people need to take packaging into consideration. They did a killer job on this. To me, this feels like a very luxury high-end perfume, but it's not. It's designer, and that's why I put it on this list. The next one in my bag is not going to surprise you all. It is Parfums de Marley Delina. Now the reason this is so popular, you guys, it's for a reason, is because it's very crowd pleasing, but it's unique. And what makes it unique is the rhubarb in here. So this has rose, peony, musk, has some cedar, bergamot, and then it has that rhubarb. So when you first spray it, it's a little tart and it's a little bit rose, but as it starts to settle down, you get a touch of fruit. So it's almost like a fresh, 
fruity, slightly sweet, but with a hint of tartness with that rhubarb. So I smell at the center and then the must too kind of rounds it out. And there's a hint of cedar too, which kind of rounds out the bottom of it. So at the center you have rose, you have peonies. So it's a nice, very feminine floral mix. At the top you have the rhubarb to kind of make it a little bit tart and unique. And then you have it rounded out with that cedar that's gonna ground it and tie it all together. And then the musk and just a hint of vanilla. The vanilla is very slight in here. It is such an expertly blended fragrance and that's why it's on my top 10 list too be is because it's so well blended. It's well loved by everyone. It's unique. It's a little tart. There's nothing out there quite like this one. So because it's so unique but still well loved, it definitely deserves to be in the top 10. The next one on my list is Guerlain Angelique Noir. This is not gonna surprise you guys either. I talk about this one all the time. This made my list because vanillas are very hard to make unique. There's so many vanillas that are like bakery vanilla, spicy vanilla, smoky vanilla, like they've all been done. There's so many vanillas on the market, but to have something like this one that's a green vanilla is actually very unique. Yes, so this one, when you first spray it, it smells like Angelique. It is a very green, fresh, but not like grass at all. It's just fresh, but with vanilla. So if you love vanilla and you want something different and unique, I'm telling you guys, this is such an incredible one. And no one does vanillas like Guerlain. Spiritus Double Vanille almost made my list too. They have the most pure, high-grade vanilla that smells like luxury. Some vanilla perfumes you get, they smell cheap. This does not. Guerlain knows how to do a beautiful vanilla. The raw materials they're using are expensive, and you can tell by the quality of when you smell it. So the notes in this one, I want to look it up because what I'm smelling is a little bit different. I do smell the vanilla. I smell the Angelique. It also has pear. Yes, I do pick up a little bit of pear and I think that's where that greenness is coming to. There's a very tiny hint of that fruitiness in there, but it's not fruity. It's just very fresh fruity. That is that pear in there. It has jasmine and then cedar as well to kind of at the base to round it out. It is well blended. It's unique. Great green vanilla. You can wear it all year round, but for me, I wear it mostly in the fall and winter, but it's very versatile. And this is one of those vanillas that you could wear during the daytime and it won't be too overpowering. The next one I'm about to show you all is a pricey one. I'm just throwing it out there. It's pricey. I'm telling you guys, this is magic in a bottle. I wear this only on special occasions perfume. It is holy grail status. This is up there in my top perfumes of all time as well. It's immaculately made. It is Clive Christian Blonde Amber. If you love rich, amber, spicy, decadent fragrances, I'm afraid to spray this because it's so pricey. I'm like, okay, we're just going to spray one. Ah, two. Okay, I wasted one. Oh my goodness, you guys. So when I bought this one, I went to Saks Fifth Avenue because I am a perfume junkie, obviously. She sprayed it for me. She said, let me just have you smell this. I was, I saw the price tag. I was like, I've been smelling that. She's like, she just gave me the tester and I smelt it. I was like, oh, that's really good. And I kept it in my purse and I pulled it out. You guys, I could not stop thinking about it. And I waited months. I went online. I was trying to find it for discount because I was like, I am not paying this price for this fragrance, but I could not stop thinking about it. And I kept coming back to it. And that piece of paper for a week, you guys, a week still smell. It is very strong. It is very potent in that it has high percentage of oils in there. It will last you a really long time. So you only need one or two sprays. It will last for hours. The notes on this one, I'm going to show you guys on my phone. Do you see all of the notes on that? I can't even explain them all because there's so many notes in here. It is so well blended. The perfume knows who made this is an absolute genius because it smells very complex, but it is so expertly blended blended. It has all these different notes that go perfectly together. The percentages of each fragrance oil used is immaculate. I don't know how to describe it other than it is spicy, it's creamy, it's warm, it's decadent. This smells like luxury on an evening. So if you are going out to a special event on a date night, something very just luxurious, this smells like luxury in a bottle, but in the most decadent way. But you have to like rich, warm amber scents that are spicy because it does have some spices in there. Like it has cardamom, has some rum in there, ginger I'm picking up. It has some cedar in there, a little vetiver. So it's just well blended. It is an expertly made perfume and that's why it is in my top list. Despite the fact that it is really pricey, I do feel like it's worth it, but it's my, I only wear on special occasion. Then the next one we have in here is a classic. We cannot get through a top 10 list without having a Chanel one and I chose Coco Noir. Now me personally 
Chanel is not my favorite fragrance house, even though I have several from this brand. I do enjoy them, but I put this one on the top 10 list because it is such a classic. This will last the test of time. Like our grandchildren will probably still be talking about this. It has the classical Chanel DNA with the aldehyde. So if you're not familiar with Chanel fragrances, the reason sometimes it gets a bad rap for being too vintage or something my grandma would wear is the aldehydes. Those are very soapy and waxy. So this does have some soapiness to it, but it's toned down a bit. So has the traditional Chanel DNA, but it's a little bit sweeter. It's a little spicy. It's a little woody. This is like Chanel number no. five's younger, sexier, more trendy sister, I guess you could say. The notes in this one are lots of citruses, which is standard in Chanel. There's lots of florals, rose, jasmine, geranium. There's a little bit of peach. But then at the base, you have a bit of creaminess with a sandalwood. And then there's a hint of spice, which I believe is the cloves that I'm picking up. It's the cloves and the creaminess from the benzoin. So you definitely get the cloves and then hint of the patchouli, which is very mild. I know a lot of people don't like patchouli, but in here it's very mild. It's just a classic fragrance that is great for professional events. If you're going to a work meeting, even for a date night, if you want to have just a very sophisticated, luxurious date night, this would be my go-to for that. The next one I have is well known. Everyone knows her and has her by this point, but I'm still going to put it in the top 10 list. It is Baccarat Rouge 540, the x -trait. I believe the x is top 10 worthy because it smells like luxury. Even though there's a lot of dupes out there, everyone's wearing this, so it doesn't feel unique anymore, but I still feel like it was geniusly made when it came out because there was nothing like it. The reason this is so unique is it has a high dose of Ambroxan. It has cedar in there, so it's very fresh, very luxurious. Luxurious. It's clean. It is such a unisex fragrance. So men can wear it, women can wear it, and it smells different on everyone. So that's why I put it in the top 10 list because it's so versatile and it can change how it smells depending on who's wear it. Like my husband wears this, it smells completely different on him. And when I wear it, it turns a little bit sweeter, but on him, it turns very clean and woody. It has some almond in there. It's just fresh, luxurious, it's woody, it's clean, it's a little dry, it's just a hint of sweetness but not too much. It is such a well-blended fragrance and Francis Kirchian is an incredible perfume nose. He's developed some of the best perfumes in the world for multiple different brands so anytime he creates a new fragrance I'm in line, I'm ready to get it because I know he's an expert, he knows his stuff and this is no exempt to that. Even though everyone has it and wears it and smells it, it's still a bomb perfume, still worthy of being in the top 10. The next Next one I have you've heard me talk about as well is the Harmonist by Hypnotizing Fire. If you love spicy, rich, decadent fragrances, this is incredible as well. If you like that Blonde Amber by Clive Christian, you'll like this one too. Oh my gosh, this is so good so good you guys. This is in my top 10 list not just because I like it but because I feel like it is very unique. It's almost like Tobacco Vanille from Tom Forb in that vibe but very different smelling in that it has pimento in there. It has some spices. It has a touch of rose so it adds some floralness in there. It's ven there's vanilla and benzoin to make it creamy. If I had to describe it it would be a little bit spicy creamy vanilla with a hint of floral in there. It is a very complex fragrance without a being overwhelming and that's why it's on my top 10 list because the perfume nose that created this blended it so well. It's multifaceted. It smells luxurious. It smells very elegant but it's sexy at the same time because it's spicy rich and vanilla with that creaminess. It is so good. This is my go-to for fall. Every fall I get excited and I wait for it to get cold enough and that is the first one I pull out is Hypnotizing Fire because I love it that much. It's an amazing fragrance. And then the last one I have, I have two options they are by the same brand, but I'm gonna give you two options for your preference. I think they both are equally as good. It is by the brand Initio Parfums, and I have Musk Therapy, and I have Psychedelic Love. This brand is absolutely genius in blending the most complex fragrances so well that it's hard to pick out the notes. So I'm not gonna describe the notes in here, I'm just gonna describe what it smells like because you can't smell one note. That's how you know it's expertly made is when you're like, oh, this smells gorgeous, it smells sexy, it's creamy, but you can't pick out a specific note because they blended it so well, it is a masterpiece. And that's what I think Initio Parfums does amazingly well. Oh, Psychedelic Love is my favorite, it's my favorite. I do pick up a little bit of anise in there just a 
tiniest bit of licorice in there, but to me, this smells spicy with just a hint of anise in there, so it, it's unique. Like, it's there's nothing like this. It's creamy, it's rich, it's decadent, a unique spice to it, but it's well blended and it's a little sweet. So if you love sweet, rich, spicy fragrances, I'm telling you, Psychedelic Love is incredible. But by the same brand, if you like something that's less spicy, but that is still very decadent and well blended, Musk Therapy is a must have because to me, it almost smells like an orange creamsicle, but deeper and sexier. This one, you can pick up the creaminess. There's a bit of citrus. I think there's orange or mandarin in here, but it's so well blended as well. There's a little bit of spice. Both of these are unisex. I feel like they lean just a slight feminine, but I think anyone could wear it. And that's why it's on my top 10 list too, is men and women both can wear it. It's expertly blended. You can tell they use high grade fragrance oils and they're just decadent. They smell like luxury to me. Whenever I wear these, I feel so confident. I feel ready to take on the day. They make me feel amazing. And that's why they'll always be in my collection. So hopefully that gives you some great ideas of 10 fragrances I think are worth checking out. I'll list all of those below. Let me know what you guys would put in your top 10 fragrances of all time. Join me in a few weeks and I will do another fragrance video for you guys, but have a great one and I'll see you soon. Bye.